I was in Madison County, Iowa, where President Trump won big in 2016. Diane Fitch is a county supervisor there, and she was watching the end of President Trump's speech on Fox with some friends, all of them Trump supporters. And my fellow Americans, the best is yet to come. So this is when House Speaker Nancy Pelosi ripped up her copy of the speech. On Twitter later, Pelosi called it a manifesto of mistruth. Oh my gosh. I think that was his speech. Wow. That's Heather Stansel. She's a telecom engineer. Our host, Diane, was also appalled by Pelosi. We're Iowans. Iowans are nice. We wouldn't have done that. It was just disrespectful. Nancy Pelosi crossed a line, you're saying, by ripping up Absolutely. the speech. Well, I mean, let me ask you where your line is with Trump. A few years ago, he, he made fun of a physically disabled reporter. That was taken out of context. That's fake news. And it makes us angry when I can see the context. I'm like, how is this spreading? How can this be? But this is so interesting. It's like like two different realities. To people who criticize the president, it's like it was pretty clear that he was mocking him. But in. Why is that so offensive to you? Why are you so morally outraged for somebody else? They called us deplorables. So this here is Kathy Bemisdarfer. Yes. Yeah. Hillary, and they don't care because we're just and bigots. We're bigots. Bigots. Or racist. racist because we might not agree. They call us terrible names. Yeah. Why is Absolutely. that any different? So I guess I would ask you: Does that cross a line? Yeah. So you you feel judged and feel like he is sticking up for you when judged. you're when you're judged. Right. I don't feel as though I'm judged. I know I'm judged. You're hearing now from Greta McNair, a registered nurse. My family is judged, and people of Iowa are judged. Mm-hmm. And if you're a Christian. You're really judged. If you're white, you're judged. If we're at a point in our country where you feel constantly judged, you feel like you're accused of being bigots if you're supporting President Trump, there are a lot of Democrats who hear him and think that he's being racist. I mean, it's like, that's just a lot. Like, what can he do this year to bring this country together and somehow figure out a way to make people less angry or, or feel less judged. Him? or it should he's be the, us. I mean, he's the not president, him. but, it, but it you tell me. It should be us. It should be us. there's anything more he can do. Believe it or not, we talk to Democrats in this county. Every Christmas, we, all of our neighbors come here. Yeah. And we yeah. tease each other about our different candidates and stuff like that. But we go home and we go to barbecues and we go to church and we have dinner with each other. And that's how America's supposed to be. Our girls are far left-wing liberals. I think they're both nuts, but I, <laughs> but I love them. Well, then what can Iowa teach the rest of the country right now? Get over it. You don't think people have made fun of us because we're blonde? I knocked on a door and said, um, I'm campaigning for public office. And the man said, you're just a little girl. I can't vote for you. And he said, you have to have a man. I said, here's the deal. I have a pair. Mine are above the belt. <laughs> That was Diane Fitch. We also heard from Heather Stansel, Greta McNair, and Kathy Bemisdarfer in Madison County, Iowa.